Voice of Indonesia. Voice of Indonesia from Indonesia to the world. Welcome back to me, Ahmad Faisal, at the program of special interview. And you know that Indonesia and Bosnia and Herzegovina have a long history in maintaining bilateral relations. And the two countries continuously developed cooperation. And at this special interview, to know how do both countries build and develop the bilateral relations. Here with us at the studio of Voice of Indonesia, there is Ambassador of Bosnia and Herzegovina to Indonesia, His Excellency Armin Limo. How are you today, Your Excellency? Assalamualaikum. You Assalamualaikum. Salam. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me here. Thank you for your time to have such interview today at the studio of Voice of Indonesia. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Okay. So how is everything, Your Excellency? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I arrived here uh, about two and a half months ago. Mm. So I, I have uh, really enjoyed my time so far in Indonesia. I like it very much. Uh, when somebody back home asks me, uh, how do you find in Asia? How do you like it? What do you like most? I usually say, I like people most. Oh. Really, this is something unbelievable. Everybody is uh, smiling all the time, ready mm. to help, very kind, very humble. So really, few countries in the world can say they have such a, such a beautiful and nice people, the way they treat not only me as a being ambassador, mm. but uh, the way they treat the foreigners is really really uh, outstanding so i like uh, really most i like people i like the way they treat uh, foreigners here i like weather i like food i like everything mm. so I, I i i'm delighted really so far okay your excellency bosnia and herzegovina indonesia uh, have very long uh, history uh, in maintaining their bilateral relations so how have bilateral relations between the two countries uh, developed since Bosnia and Herzegovina became independent in 1992. <coughs> yes, generally we can say that uh, bilateral relations between Bosnia and Herzegovina and, and Indonesia have been characterized by uh, by uh, cordiality and cooperation. Mm -hmm. It started, as you as you say, in uh, May mm -hmm. 1992, yes. when uh, Indonesia recognized Bosnia and Herzegovina. And that was actually the foundation for establishment, officially establishment mm -hmm. of, of dip diplomatic relations between two countries that happened uh, in, uh, in uh, April 1994. So ever since, alhamdulillah, our relations are getting bigger and stronger. Maybe you didn't know, but uh, your former president, mm -hmm. SBY, Mr. Yudoyono, uh, in 1995 and 1996, he was the uh, chief of U UN military yeah. observers, chief, chief uh, in, in Balkan area with mm -hmm. the headquarters in Zagreb, Croatia. So he spent uh, two years in Bosnia and he has special bonds uh, with, with our country. I paid him a visit last week, so uh, I reminded him about that area and really we, ha we, we had a great meeting. Uh, our political relations are mm -hmm. really very good. So. Uh, Indonesia was helping us uh, yes. during war, after the war. Mm -hmm. Indonesia was part of so-called AMG, Assistance Mobilization, Mobilization Group, Group, for Bosnia and Herzegovina. And uh, on the third uh, donor yes. conference in Brussels in, uh, in 19 Brussels. Brussels 1997, uh, Indonesia donated about uh, 3 million US dollars, etc. So it, it, uh, Indonesia was involved in many fields. So we can really say our bilateral relations mm -hmm. are are very very good, Alhamdulillah. But of mm -hmm. course, there are there are more potentials to develop it as well. So, Your Excellency, how uh, do humanitarian values and religious solidarity strengthen relations of both countries? Well, Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Indonesia can collaborate on joint mm. humanitarian humanitarian issues aimed at addressing global challenge, mm -hmm. challenges such as uh, let's say poverty hunger and refugee crisis so those those three fields might be something interesting for for both mm -hmm. parts to cooperate uh, by doing so uh, two countries actually can enhance 
and mm -hmm. bilateral relations, yes. they can strengthen our cooperation, but at the same level, they can they can promote uh, stability at the international stage. Mm. So they can really they can really help to they they, they they can it can contribute to regional stability all around the world as well. Mm. So you mean this uh, humanitarian assistance uh, has been and continuously given by Indonesian country to Bosnia. Well, it was mm. it was the case during war and after the war. war but alhamdulillah, now, as I told you. Uh, situation in Bosnia is uh, much more better compared mm -hmm. to how it was during the war, so mm -hmm. we don't need typical humanitarian yeah, assistance, yeah. so to say, uh, so that, that, that there is no war, there is no conflict anymore mm -hmm. in Bosnia. But uh, in other parts of the world, Bosnia and Serbia and Indonesia can cooperate in that oh, regard. Okay. So what about how does uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, view Indonesia's effort to resolve conflicts in Southeast Asia and other regions? based on Bosnia and Herzegovina's experience in handling uh, conflicts in Europe? Yeah, uh, I have to t tell you that uh, mm -hmm. we are really uh, seeing that, uh, observing that uh, Indonesia's effort with uh, interest, respect, and mm -hmm. I would say even, even uh, admiration because uh, the way Indonesia is doing that uh, is very mm -hmm. impressive. Impressive. Uh, in in uh, ASEAN, you know that there are some some concerns in that regard so indonesia was having that uh, very good way mm -hmm. last year when indonesia was the chairman mm -hmm. of asean simply there are in my in my humble opinion there are some some uh, focus some things that every country including indonesia and bosnia uh, should take into consideration while doing this mm -hmm. kind of job such as okay. uh, i can tell that from from our experience of course that is first of all mediation and conflict resolution diplomatic engagement okay and uh, readiness to to peacekeeping mm. because we know we experience that unfortunately very yes okay. yes mm. uh, we experienced that during during our war and trust me <laughs> we know what <laughs> we are talking about and indonesia is also very important in providing uh, peacekeeping forces all over the world. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Indonesia is on, on the top three, I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I should check on the details, on top three of UN provider yes. all, all around the world. Still so in Sudan, Congo, uh, still are, there are also lots of troops of Indonesian uh, military, military troops who are on duty in uh, Sudan and yeah, Congo. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. So that is really that is really some field where Indonesia is uh, is very very much engaged and that that uh, shows uh, your uh, commitment mm. for international peace to to keep uh, international peace and uh, of course that is the that is the way how to promote country in international arena and really we we appreciate that very much indeed and as I said in the beginning we s watching that, observing with great interest and admiration, mm. almost. Your Excellency, I'm uh, interested what you said before about the potential of cooperation for both countries in the fields <coughs> of such political, economic and social cultures. So w what about uh, the cu current situation, current condition of uh, the cooperations? Can, can it be developed directly or together by the two countries of, of the government? Of course, of course. Uh, I said in the beginning that uh, our political relations are, alhamdulillah, very good, mm. very good. But unfortunately, they are not half as good. Uh, unfortunately, economic relations are not half as good as political ones. So when you talk about political relations mm. from the very beginning, from the establishment of diplomatic relations, uh, they they have been really really uh, on, on 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 very good level. For instance, okay, well. our our president uh, late Mr. Ali Zadbegovic visited visited Indonesia in 1994, and then your current president at that time, Mr. Suharno, uh, visited uh, Suharto visited Bosnia in 1995, mm. and then the Indonesian president uh, Madame Megawati visited Bosnia in 2002. Mm. Uh, so uh, I've been working now and I will do my best to organize visit of our 
mm. uh, presidency delegation to visit to visit Indonesia, because unfortunately since 1994 mm. there wasn't any visit from our side <laughs> to to Indonesia on the on the highest level. So that that will be one of uh, one of main tasks mm, of my of my mission here, and I do hope in uh, if not this or next year by the end of mandate of current presidency in mm. Bosnia and Herzegovina, actually I was already promised by a uh, Bosniak member of our presidency, Dr. Denis Bechirovic, that he will visit visit uh, Indonesia for sure. Mm. Because uh, invitation has already been extended uh, from Indonesian side to, to our president in previous mandate, mm. but due to some, uh, unfortunately due to uh, his uh, schedule and very busy schedule, he had some other obligations, he couldn't. He couldn't visit visit uh, Indonesia, but I will do my best to. We will do my best in our embassy to make that visit possible in, in mm. the near future. Again, from that is regarding political political relations, also uh, parliamentary parliamentary cooperation, parliamentary cooperation also should be should be enhanced okay. because three times uh, delegation from Indonesian Parliament visited, visited Bosnian okay. Parliament. We, we, we say parliamentary assembly mm -hmm. of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but unfortunately so far uh, our delegation never visited never visited mm -hmm. the Indonesian parliament. So that, uh, that, that is something also what I will try to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to make possible, to organize a visit of our parliamentary assembly delegation mm -hmm. to, visit, to visit the Indonesian parliament. Regarding economic cooperation and cultural cooperation, as you say, that uh, that would be actually number one focus number one of, of, of my of my of my mission here, mm. because uh, our foreign trade exchange is very low. Yes. Our export is about two point five three million euros, and mm. your export last year, you mean? Last year, last yeah. year. And uh, your export to, to Bosnia is much more higher, about 11, 12 million euros, but it is still very low. Mm. It can be better, and it might be better. Of course, there are many, many obstacles in that regard. Uh, mm. For instance, uh, our foreign trade exchange and our export is 70% with mm. EU countries, EU countries. Which, which is logical, which is normal. We, we, we are in Europe and uh, that is, of course, logical that you have best cooperation with your immediate neighbors and mm. with your neighboring countries. But again, there are potentials in that regard. So. Uh, I will try. I will try to improve that field. There are some fields uh, where we can be competitive. Mm. Here, such as defense product industry, uh, there there is already some cooperation between Boston companies and, mm. and Indonesia in that regard. But it it can be better as well. Cultural cooperation, as you mentioned, you ask about that. There are many potentials in that regard. We can organize some. Uh, actually, I have a plan to organize some uh, screening of Boston movies here or to bring some some mm. artists. You just told me before <laughs> this interview <laughs> that you organize concerts for, for foreign for foreign bands or performers. So uh, I will try I will try to, to, to make that possible as well. So your Excellency, uh, in most of Indonesian uh, I mean population of Indonesians are Muslims and also mm. Bosnia and Herzegovina also Muslims. So in this case, I mean, how do you, do you see about the the people to people contact of both countries of both peoples? I mean, uh, for people of both countries. Well, people to people contacts, mm. of course, are very important. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a big Bosnian dia diaspora here. Oh, okay. According to our record, there are not more than twenty people living from mm. Bosnia living at the moment in Indonesia. Mm. Maybe there are more. But that is according to our our record because uh, our people uh, are not obliged mm. to register in the embassy when they arrive. So only if they call us, then we, <laughs> we, we, we register them. So again, there are no more than 20 people uh, mm, of Bosnian okay. people in Indonesia. And uh, from as, for, uh, as, in the, as far as Indonesians are concerned, there are uh, people in your embassy mm. in, in Bosnia told me there are 107 Indonesians oh, living, living yeah. in Bosnia, Live in, Bosnia. Uh, in some other countries such as Australia, USA, Norway, Germany, Austria, mm. there are hundreds of thousands of Bosnian. So we can use that diaspora to, to, enhance, mm. to enhance our bilateral cooperation. So unfortunately, that number is still very low. Very low so yeah. we, can u we cannot use mm. that, uh, that diaspora as much as we can in some other countries. But again, I agree with you completely. 
people to people uh, cooperation and might enhance our our bilateral relations generally speaking because the more people visit Bosnia and Indonesia and the more we get to know each other and the better cooperation cooperation we might have one of the obstacles again is visa regime mm -hmm. for instance we still have visa regime with, with the Indonesian people but uh, issuance visa issuance is a very simple mm. procedure so if, if indonesian people apply for visa literally today mm. within a couple of days maybe even within 24 hours visa visa has been issued visa. so that is <coughs> that is also one of the possibilities that that might help uh, indonesian people visit bosnia also i was told that uh, <coughs> uh, two million indonesians uh, visit uh, saudi arabia for umrah Hajj and Umrah, Hajj especially Umrah. Hajj for Umrah, and that they go to Turkey very much because mm -hmm. there is no visa regime be between Turkey and Indonesia. And so you people go to Turkey without without visa. Without so visa, yes. my idea is, if possible, mm -hmm. to organize uh, once your people, let's say, come to come to Istanbul, mm -hmm. to organize one short trip to Bosnia, directly to Bosnia, two, three, four, four days, let's say, because there are minimum 10 flights daily mm. from Istanbul to our capital Sarajevo. So it's very, very easy to organize that trip from Istanbul to, to Bosnia. So in that way, we might, we might enhance tourist cooperation between the, between mm. two countries. So again, back to your question, people, <laughs> people to people yes, cooperation, to contact, very, so. very important, uh, very important. They can help. Uh, to enhance our cultural and any, and, uh, and any other cooperation, mm. and I will do really my, my best to, to make that possible. Okay. So, Your Excellency, because of our limited time, we have the last question. Okay. Yes. Uh, this year, 2024, especially uh, exactly in October 2024, Indonesia will have new president. New president, yes. So, what is your hope for Indonesian new president? Uh, not only that I hope, but I'm confident that our bilateral relations will be, uh, will be developed um, in, in, a, in a mutual, satisfactory mm. way. So I told you in the beginning, and I keep saying that, which is very important, we have very, very, very good political relations mm. with Indonesia, and I'm confident that relations will be the same, even better. Okay, thank you very much. Your Excellency, Ambassador of Bosnia of Herzegovina to Indonesia, Excellency Mr. Armin Limo, for your time to have such interview today. Terima kasih. Thank you very much. Okay, well, <laughs> listener, that was our special interview with Ambassador of Bosnia and Herzegovina to Indonesia, His Excellency Mr. Armin Limo. I'm Arfaisal. Faisal, would like to say thank you very much and have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Voice of Indonesia.